That one is driven to left field, giving Chase Robinson on the run, and it's going to be off the base of the wall. Wendell scores. Bowers going to third, and he is... There's no call. Still no call. I don't think he touched third. He's tagged, and now Pham will go to third, and the ball is dropped there by D.D. Bowers rolling all over the place. We'll see if he ever makes contact with third. Never. Never. So then he just continues on. That can't be allowed, can it? Crazy, huh? He never tagged him, so the runner, Bowers, was still alive, and he's just started running home, and he was tagged out, but that allowed Pham to go to third. Can we start this game again? This is awful. Reading uh, Aaron's lips, he said he should go back to second base. Looks like they're going to keep Pham at third. First time up. And there's a shot deep into left. He's going to do some damage. That ball's off the wall. Extra bases. Wendell scores. Now there's a play at third. And they scramble for the bag. Now it's second. Pham, they still have Bowers between third and home. He's tagged out. Pham's going to go to third. How about that for a trip? Well, and, and I think what the Yankees were wondering was, did Jake Bowers ever touch third base? So was he even eligible to run home? Here's the thing. I mean, they Bowers can't score because he never touched third base. So <laughs> I can understand the Yankees' confusion there. But what a heck of a job by Tommy Pham, not only getting his first hit as a Ray, able to read the play as that bizarreness was going on and able to get to third base. Last time I checked it, you can't score a run if you don't touch third base.